Welcome to The Long Run. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And what are we doing today? Well, we've shown you before how we do our meal plan for our one month hauls. Mm -hmm. But we thought in this video, we will show you how we plan for our fill-in hauls. And so we recorded every time in the month of February. So that's what we're going to share with you in this video. All right, let's do it. So we're going to start with the second weekend in February because obviously on the first one, we shopped for our big haul, but this is going to be for fill-in hauls. And we're going to show you how we put together our grocery list on the fill-in hauls so that we know exactly what to buy. All right, so um, I am going to be showing you my screen right here. And uh, as you can see, this is the monthly meal plan that we put together for the month of February. And this is what I put together so I can show you on the screen when we do the meal plan videos. But when I'm doing weekly fill-in hauls, I actually move the list over to right here. As you can see on the screen, this is just like two weeks worth. And what I will do is I will look at it and I will think, I will think about it and say, okay, what did we use? We used the tortellini soup. We did the quesadillas. We did breakfast foods. And believe it or not, we only did that because like one night Joel had to work and then one night we were both really feeling not so great and so what we did was just we had breakfast foods on that night too we just had some eggs and grits and called it a night um because our allergies were draining and we just didn't want to cook a real meal um and we could throw that together really quick so that backed up some of our stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start just moving things around um um all right, so this is Friday, and our Sunday is actually Super Bowl Sunday, but uh, Joel hasn't said that he wanted to do something different, so don't know. Uh, if he does, I'll be moving things around, but right now, that's what I have. And as you can see, I'm just moving things that I already had planned for these two weeks around so that we can change things up a little bit. Um... And as you can see, I got a beef dish there. I don't like to have more than one beef dish in a week. So um, I'm just going to move this chicken and gravy here. That's already been cooked. It's in the freezer. This pulled pork has already been cooked and it's in the freezer. And so I'm just moving that stuff around. I think for that Friday, I'm just going to do breakfast foods. Just, sometimes Joel works till like seven or eight on Fridays. So I just don't want to do a big meal that day. So we'll just leave it like that. And um, we'll move these right here up to there. And let's see, let me look and see what else I can do. So I'm going to go back to this meal plan line. I'm going to put lines through this. And let me see. That would be all of those. The next one would be the roast. I want to do that on a Sunday, so I'm going to leave it on a Sunday. I'm going to back that one up. And I'm going to move the roast there. And then we'll leave that there. Though we probably will have leftovers, but I'm not positive, so we'll see. Yeah, we'll go with the chicken burrito skillet. No, I don't want to do that. And the reason why is because chicken burrito skillet and taco rice casserole, other than chicken and beef, they're kind of like a very similar thing. That would be almost two weeks later. Okay, we're going to go with the spatchcock chicken and then the chicken gnocchi soup. Now, technically, this, uh, the, these, this line here, whoops, this line right here, 
these are all on the week after next so it's not like i have to have this figured out this week but i like to do two weeks worth all right and we'll do the chili with cornbread on that sunday right there oh wait no that's that's another beef recipe. I can do better than that. Low country bowl will do that. Okay. Now, all of that is subject to change. As Next week when I do that list, I'll look at our schedule and it may change due to that schedule. We will be showing that. I won't be explaining it as much as I did on the first weekend because... You don't need me to say that more than one time. But um, this is what I'm looking at. So now what I got to do is I just look over here at my ingredient list. All right. So in this week, the chicken tortilla soup was in week three. No, it wasn't. What was it? Week one. So I've already gotten everything I need for that. Already got everything I need for all of these except for pulled pork. We already have buns for that. Yep, no, we're good on all of those. The spatchcock chicken, we would need some potatoes to roast on the side. And gravy, baked foods. We've got all of those pulled pork. We just need, we already have buns for that. Yeah, um, actually that's, I need some potatoes, I need some bananas, and I need to find out from Joel and Jacob if they need anything else, like for breakfasts or lunches, but they probably should be pretty good because we already bought all of that. Um, enough for a, a month's worth, so maybe he, might need some French bread or something like that. But other than that, there shouldn't be much to add there. And then I will look at mine, my stuff, and just see if I feel like I need uh, any other things, like some fresh produce or anything that maybe isn't on this list at the moment. I do know there's one thing. Uh, we did not get gnocchi, potato gnocchi, last week. So we won't need to look for that again. But um, that's all we have. And uh, we're going to go grocery shopping. And I, when we get back, I'll show you we act, what we actually purchased. Or if it's only like three or four things, I might even just show it in the store. But um, yeah, that's all I have to do. That's all I have to do. And next week, I will just change everything around a little bit. And you'll see a few little... Uh, differences in the meal plan just in case our schedules change or if we don't actually get to one of these meals I'll just back it down into the list and that means everything will be back down uh, so that's how I do it I uh, hope that makes sense uh, come back uh, and see what I get in just a second and then see what we buy on the third weekend in February all right we are back with our groceries and we got some turkey for our son he wants to eat turkey sandwiches and bread we have some potatoes like we're on, was on the list bananas that were on the list and the potato gnocchi that i mentioned and that's all that we bought and i will put the total that we spent on the screen stay tuned for week three starting right now all right guys this is week three of february i'm going to put a screenshot of the meal plan the way it looked like at the end of this week when i'm starting to do my meal plan and as you can see, I still haven't used a lot of the stuff. So let, let's look back at my um, other uh, little area that I keep up with it weekly. All right, so as you can see, this is where I left off um, last week. And so uh, what we did have was the spatchcock chicken and we did make the chicken tortilla soup. And that is all that we got to, and you mind me, like wow really that's it but um 
On Sunday was uh, Super Bowl Sunday, and we decided to go out and DoorDash or Uber Eats and do Walmart Spark deliveries and stuff instead of cooking. And we just uh, didn't cook. Like, we didn't want to do a whole chicken, so we just pushed that meal back, um, and we just didn't bother with that. Uh, then the, so then we had the spatchcock chicken on Monday. On Tuesday, we actually went to the Disney theme parks and we went ahead and celebrated Valentine's Day on Tuesday. Uh, so we did not eat anything on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, we still had leftovers for the chicken or, sorry. Then on Wednesday, we made the chicken tortilla soup. And then Thursday, we had the leftovers. And so this is Friday, and Friday um, we're going to have this beef taco mac. So by the end of today, we'll be marking that one off the list. So um, I'm going to do a little moving things around. I will show you what I have when I'm done with it um, because I don't want to make the video too long. I'm not going to show you every the steps every week. I'm going to switch a few things around because I realize that I have a recipe combo video coming up. And if I don't hurry up and actually record the videos, those recipes, then I won't have the footage to actually get the video done in time. So I'm going to do some switching around. Uh, so you'll see some things that are listed on this page that's going to get moved to this page. And then some of this stuff we just won't get to um, in February, but that's okay. Uh, what we don't get to in February, we will use in March. All right, so this is what we have. As you can see, I moved out two things to make room for the two that I wanted to make sure I got recorded in time to do the recipe video that I'm gonna do. But that is the meal plan. And these are the ingredients or our grocery list at the moment. I do need to check with Joel and our son to see if they, if I need to add anything for them. Uh, but this is mostly what we needed for the recipes and also a few things for myself that I'm, you know, using in my food uh, for myself. And so I just need to check with them and see if they need anything for breakfasts or lunches or anything like that. But otherwise, this is the meal plan. And... Um, uh, in about a half a second, I'm going to show you what we actually bought. All right, and here is our groceries for this week. It was $41.34. Um, mostly like lunch foods, like this for our son, and then spinach for a recipe, and bananas for me. Uh, two kinds of bread because our son won't eat uh, whole grain breads so like that, and then I... I'm looking for one that's going to provide a lot of protein and stuff. So, yeah, 12 grain, whole grain. Um, and um, Pete Joel's uh, little uh, splurge there for himself. Um, and just your basics like that, like creamer, heavy cream, some more produce. That's pretty much all we got. All right, guys, this is week three, the final week. And... We're going to show you this, and then um, the next thing that you will see is uh, me showing a brand new meal plan because we'll be in March. So this is the way that it looked um, at the end of last week when I made the meal plan. So I'm going to go through, mark out all the things that we actually ate. Okay, so that's all of that. Now I'm going to flip back over here to this one like I showed you uh, the last couple of weeks how I just start taking them out here. Um, and that this is like, it just summarizes and condenses like one or two weeks worth of meals so that it's easier for me to keep up with. This is actually Thursday and uh, to, I'm going ahead and recording this instead of on Friday because I have my uh, periodontist appointment and they'll be doing a deep cleaning on my gums and they numb my... They, they put numbing agent in it when they do that, and so I probably wouldn't be able to speak very clearly with my gums half numb. So um, I'm going ahead and showing this right now. Yeah, I think I'm just going to put breakfast foods there. And then we will save the... Um, that should be right there, fend for yourself. Um, that's what FFY means. 
than for yourself. Let's see. So we would put the spatchcock chicken there on Sunday. We're gonna run the soup up here on Monday. It's been a while since I made it, so I don't remember if I have leftovers, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the Low Country Bowl there. Um, then we would have cilantro lime chicken, which that asterisk means it's already been cooked, it's in the freezer, just needs to thaw it out and reheat it. All right, and taco rice casserole. And actually, the last day of the month is actually Wednesday, I think. Or no, Thursday. The last day of the month is Thursday. So technically, this takes us all the way through February, but I'll go ahead and move this one right here to the last, to that Sunday because it's already written there. Okay, guys, we are going to put the grocery list right here on the screen. And this is everything that we bought. And um, I am just looking for things that I can take to the parks, the theme parks, so I can get something a little healthier than like what's in the um, restaurant. So I picked up this. I didn't need the cookie or anything, but I was like, hey, that's cool. Let me see what that's like. It's only um, 440 calories. I don't know if you can see that. And uh, pretty low sodium compared to what I would get in a restaurant meal. Okay. All right, got some potatoes. Got a box of Pop-Tarts because we didn't quite get our son enough. Bag of spinach for a recipe. Bananas for me. Some more packets because I had an Ibotta rebate that was for 75 cents off if you bought four. So I just went ahead and got that for my stockpile. And a bulb of garlic and a bulb and... A bulb of garlic and one lemon and a bag of potatoes. Okay, guys, we have made it to the end of March. And this is what our meal plan looks like at the end of February. And as you can see, we got about six or seven meals that we did not get to. And we'll move those over into March. I'm not going to show you the whole process of me making our March meal plan. I'm just going to come back in a second and show you the completed meal plan. All right, now I have finished with the meal plan. I'm going to put it right here on the screen in front of our faces so that you can see it right there. Um, it's a little different than what we normally do. And the reason why is because sometime during this month, our granddaughter is going to be born and they live three states away. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't want a lot of food in the refrigerator or whatever that might spoil while we're gone. So I kept everything to like single meal types. No, not ones that would create leftovers to throw away. Very little fresh produce. We'll be leaning more on our freezer um, for that. And as you can see, we even only have andouille sausage on the list. We're basically using uh, ground beef and chicken and stuff that we already had uh, things in our pantry. So we're we're kind of doing a a pantry month here yep. um and so as you can see we have a pretty small grocery list which kind of makes me happy we'll be sharing that grocery haul video next week so be sure to uh subscribe so you don't miss that all right so drop some comments below and let us know if you do meal plans you know how you do your uh, planning for the month whether for weekly or monthly or bi-weekly or however you do it we'd love to hear those comments mm -hmm. in the comment section below we're gonna put a video up right here you can click that's the way we say the thing we always say that's going to do it today for the long run joel and christy i'm joel and i'm christy don't forget the long run give yourself a little grace